Hi, my name is Oliver Hall, and today I'm going to show you a level I created in Super Mario Maker 2. My role in this project was to design and produce a level that would be fun and challenging for a variety of players. My process involved playing other levels for inspiration first, building and playtesting the level, getting feedback from friends and family members with the range of Super Mario experience and skill levels, and incorporating the feedback into the final version. This project is relevant to game design because it required me to think about how to engage the audience with the level. Some of the important considerations I had to make were the difficulty, the pacing, the appropriate length, and the consistent theme of the level. I also had to make sure that the level felt like a Super Mario level with the familiar elements and mechanics that the players expect. My intent for this project was to create a level that would appeal to a range of ages and skills. Mario is a game that everyone should be able to get the hang of, so I wanted to make a level that would be enjoyable for both beginners and experts. I had three main objectives for the level. My first objective was to ensure that the level starts relatively easy to ease players in and create some sort of a sense of comfort. My second objective was to ensure that power-ups are placed at appropriate places where the player needs them most. I wanted to give the player a sense of progression, so I placed power-ups that would help them overcome the obstacles of the level. My third objective was to create a level that would keep the player interested and engaged. To do so, I varied the environment as well as the placement and type of enemies and traps. For example, Mario will go through multiple cave sections throughout the level, and I place some enemies in unexpected places such as the gophers running down the hill right after the first cave section. I set up the level so a more experienced player would be able to kill all enemies and get all the coins, including some tucked away in hard to get places, while a novice player should be able to complete the level by avoiding several enemies and picking up only some of the coins. After creating the first version of the level, I asked some friends and family members to play it and give me feedback. Based on their feedback, I noticed three problems that I needed to address in the design. The first problem was that the first cave section felt crammed in some areas. Some of the players felt that the space was too tight and there were too many enemies in the way. To fix this, I made the ceilings higher and removed a couple of the enemies. This made the section more spacious and less frustrating, and judging from feedback it seemed to help a lot. The second problem was that the level felt inconsistent at times. Some of the players felt the variety of enemies was too random, so to fix this, I reduced the variety of different enemies by about half, and I focused on using enemies that fit the level's snow theme, such as snow spikes, snow pokies, and ice clothes as traps. The third problem was that some of the players felt that the original end to the level did not feel like a traditional ending for a Mario level. So to fix this, I changed the ending to a more familiar setup. Instead of Mario coming down to the flagpole from levels above it like I originally had, I had Mario come down from the more traditional left-hand side and jump on enemies to scale the flagpole. So in conclusion, I learned a lot from the game design process of creating a level in Mario Maker 2. I learned how to balance the difficulty of the level with accessibility for all skill levels through placement of power-ups and enemies, and how to make the level feel consistent with itself and with other Mario levels. I also learned how to get feedback from others and how to improve the level based on the feedback. But anyway, thank you for listening and I appreciate your attention.